Oh yeah. This is a smart thing, y'all. You don't want to put your ass on nobody's ass. A very quick room tour because the room is, this is it. Because this is not a joke, okay? There's water literally pouring into our room. Hi guys welcome back hopefully you guys saw a little bit of when we were pulling up to the cruise terminal or port right the cruise port um, and right now actually it's raining can you guys can you believe it so let's just hope that it turns around once we leave here I couldn't get much of uh, <laughs> our process because this is new to us. It was a lot going on and um, I'm too anxious for stuff. So we made it to the Carnival Liberty. That's the boat we're on. And I'm going to give you guys a very, literally a very quick room tour. <laughs> a very quick room tour because the room is this is it okay <laughs> um we're we're not settled in or nothing but we do have a couple of stuff just sitting out so disregard that but uh, as you can see the doors behind me so i'm going to turn this around okay and then boom we're here so you guys can see the doors literally behind me and then that's the end of the room however when you first come in to your left you'll have closet okay Yes, they gave us closet space. Thank you for the hangers. We're really looking forward to an iron being here, but it looks like they decided to switch the iron out with life vests. Literally, more life vests than what there are people. Um, and so, yeah, plenty of closet space. We got some shelf space. To your right when you walk in, this is going to be the bathroom. I'm not going to tell y'all about no smells. I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, this is the bathroom. It's pretty small. This is the shower. She already ran the sink in the shower because I saw some vlogs where I guess the water was like brown or something. Oh, and they gave us a nice little piece of art. And it looks like, you know, they covered up his private part or whatever with some fruit. That's nice, right? Yeah, so that's the bathroom. I had already put my little shower shoes out. Okay, boom. If we have a third guest or if we get mad at each other, one of us can be in this floating bed. And the bed just floats. I don't know. I don't know how you take it down. I'm not going to ask. We get a nice little couch here. I had already put my carry-on bag. Hers too. They gave us some towels. I don't know. I think those are towels to take out to the beach. Um, There's some storage down here, y'all. But I can't. I can't. It seems like it's jammed or something. Alright, so boom. Boom. You get counter space. You get a cute little vanity area. So I can set up my makeup and stuff if I want to. Okay, so then we get some drawers if you want to put your stuff away. You get a little fridge or whatever. Alright, alright. The fridge is mobile. As you can see, it moves with me. Yeah. 
and move with me. Now we got our wine in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, boom. She had got a 12 pack of water. They had gave us a complimentary water. And then boom, we got glasses. Ain't no light over here to give it a nice ambiance, but boom, that's it. Alright, so then under here you get a safe. Gotta keep your shit safe. Put my Rolex in there. Alright. Up here you get the TV. Okay? So of course we're gonna watch the food channel and get into the mood, the vibes. Because you know you wanna make sure you got an appetite for when you gonna be at dinner. You get a nice light right here. You see me. You see me. It's giving. It's giving. And is. Yeah. Yeah, get into the vibes. Okay, so then boom. Come over here. You get some nice glass art. So then you turn to your right. You get a nice little lamp. You get a little end table. You get you a nice little put together headboard. It's, it's like attached to the to the wall you know you get you some art right here yeah very eccentric it's giving you get you a light right there that light that's by the pillows in between the pillows y'all it 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 lights up all around the border ain't that nice it's giving hollywood studios ain't it the bed hill i could tell there's a dent a split in it so it's giving two twins okay so then boom after that boom here comes the balcony. Yo, it's giving balcony. Okay, because you is kind of outside. You is kind of outside when you get here. You know what I'm saying? Girl, and then boom, they letting down the um, terminals. Y'all, we is detached. What? We is detached from like the earth. And then, if you turn to my left, that's it. Oh, I ain't show y'all. We got extra storage here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Get into it. So, I got to take me some derpamine. Oh, <laughs> drama bean. Because... I don't know if I'm going to be seasick or not, but I'd rather not feel a little sick at all and then take it. I'd rather, you know. These are my shoes. Babe bought these shoes for me for, I don't know if it was. Just because. Oh, these were just because shoes. But these are my Steve Madden possessions, right? Boom. The pink ones, y'all. And then I had later on went and got the motherfucking possessions. Fanny pack bag. And I was very much so giving. The girl told me when she was checking my bags, and she was like, "Ooh, your out, your nails." She said, "Your nails." Then she said, "Your outfit." Then she said, "Ooh, I just like your bag, your glass." I was like, mm, "Don't give me too much." But yeah, y'all, this is it. You see the vibes with the shades. I'm not gonna put them on, but you see the vibes. To be honest with y'all, I just told her I had to poop. <laughs> Where the toilet seat covers? Girl, in my bag. Hold on. So this is this is a smart thing, y'all. You don't want to put your ass on nobody's ass. Or, you know how people be cleaning the bathrooms, especially if you just get paid to do it. You just spray that shit. And you just rub something on it. That's not really getting the germs away. So, I thought it would be very smart to buy a hundred pack. However, I'm not sure how we're going to open this. Because they done fucking vacuum sealed this bitch. But I think it's very smart. So, yeah. When I gotta go take a poop, I'm gonna sit down. That's all we got for now. Until we, we go to the next spot. But it was a lot to, for me. It was a lot for me. I was very much so anxious. The mustard part, I don't think them, them people gave a fuck about mustard. I don't even know if they much understood what we said. And I didn't understand what they said. All the girl had to do was show me a life vest. And then if I would have told the man that I knew how to put a life vest on, he probably would have just said we did muster and kept it fucking moving. I'll be back in a little while. Once we decide to figure out what we want to do. She wants to wait on the bags. And so um, we're going to chill in here for a little bit. I don't think they'll take super long. 
but that's what you, that's what I be getting when I be watching. I be watching a lot of stuff before I do the same fucking thing that they these people be doing. Everybody's experience is not the same, but I do agree with the girl on one thing um, because I'm not sure what I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm smelling the sea. Exactly. Yeah. Or if I'm smelling like, cause I'm gassy too, so I'm farting. That's it could be a lot. It. it could. You sure? Cause I'm gassy. No. I don't know, but it seems like they're starting to rev stuff up. Cause I feel something too. So I don't know if it's like, or if it's the air. Girl, what you feel? That's why. I sp what you feel, babe? I just heard. <laughs> you heard it or you felt it? I heard it and I felt it. What you feel? I ain't feel nothing. I felt something rumble underneath over here. You heard it rumble. Yeah. I think we close. I think this the the front of the boat. You close to the um captain, so we could probably go meet. And we're it. closer to the water. Yeah, for sure. But you can meet the captain. I don't know why that lady did that. I told her do not. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. It's your first time in cruise. Yeah, you don't want to be too close to look out, girl. The water finna be right there. We on the second deck. We're on the main floor. I don't care. Have y'all seen the ring? Okay, so if you've seen the ring, y'all know there's a part about the horse. And then there's a clip where they show the horse. The horse jumped over the boat like jumped off the ship and the next thing you know everybody's running to try to see what's wrong with the horse where the horse went or whatever and they look down and child the horse then been chopped up by the goddamn blades mm. yeah that ain't gonna be me and i'm not doing no titanic ass shit either i'm not jack and i'm not rose and i don't need to be at the head of the ship talking about i'm not doing none of that and i'm long too bitch like me will snap in half and fall the fuck over so when you come if you do ever come to Orlando, you do check your luggage in like before you even get out your vehicle. So that's another thing. We would have. I was thinking that when you came, mm -hmm. you was gonna take both of your bags, kind of similar to the airport, and you go to somewhere and they do it that way. It's not like that. It's like before you even get a parking space to park your vehicle and pay your eighty-five damn dollars, seventeen dollars a day. Yeah, just to throw that out there. <laughs> Before you pay a credit card only. Yeah. Word from the, from the wise, okay? You gonna check your bags in. So make sure y'all have some cash. Because she wanted to tip them, but we didn't know. So I'm just speaking to you guys, you know, for the future. Um, have a couple dollars cash, because then the men yeah. out there is working. And they was the nicest fucking people. Yeah. I would say they were the nicest people. And the people that once you get to, you have to go through the little scanner thing. Those people are pretty nice, too. Yeah. Yeah. 
and y'all look. The only people I really see with masks on are the workers. I haven't seen too many people that are travelers on this ship wearing masks, and I'm not on that. And this is the most people that me and her have been around in a long time. And even though we have our booster shots, bitch, I'm not for that. I'm not. Okay? Bring your mask, people. Okay, you guys, another hack that I was smart enough to do. So I got us some straws that were um, portable. Super cute. Let me show you how it works. Huh? You're supposed to put the tip on inside of it. I don't know why you had yours just dangling around. Your tip, you had it earlier. It's in the bottom of your, wherever it was. Go get it. So yeah, this is our straw, and then when we're done with it, and it comes with a cleaner, so don't forget to take your cleaner out of here. It comes with a tip. It comes with a cleaner that once you shrink it short, then you'll put the cleaner in there if you want to clean it or whatever. But this is our tip, so anytime we'll have a drink, because there's people walking around with like, <laughs> yeah? It's giving? Nasty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's this called? Rum punch. So this is a rum punch. This drink's not bad. So there will be people walking around with little trays and stuff. I personally wasn't gonna go for it. The first guy who walked around because we didn't know where he came from and he had been walking around. I don't know how long he had been breathing on it, but she had saw the man come around from the bar with the fresh tray, so that's why we grabbed these cups. But definitely get your portable straws, and again, you can hook these bitches to your pants. Ooh, what's that? Oh, seven. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Y'all seen they try to give us a cup? Try to put it on the table talking about seven dollars. No. And then by the time we get to the room, the wine should be okay. Because I'm gonna be the whole trip. <laughs> yeah. Did I show y'all my nails? So I'll be back in a little while. Oh, he got the Kabuki, the, the Kabuki shorts. Hey guys. So me and Dave just decided to come after drinking, looking at a bunch of floors. She, she walked in somewhere. It's definitely closed. But she wanted to see if the keys were scratched up and stuff like we saw. Um, yeah, they didn't paint them, babe. They did. So this is the pian. What is it called? Piano, Piano man. Bar. Piano, Piano man. man bar. Little. I'll give it to you guys better during the day, like daylight. <laughs> Girl, don't. It's the legs. You so cute. Emma? Yeah. Even with my mask? Mm-hmm. They said this is the bar that makes the strong drink. All right, guys. So we're just walking. Just going to show you guys what everything looks like.
back in the room i got my um handy dandy neck fan on which i told Bay she should have got one from amazon i'm fine you the one that needs girl she, but yet she be sweating however but we're not gonna talk about it when we were get having them drinks that i showed you guys earlier that's where we went to embark we were on embarkation we had a drink and then we went walking around. We did eat. We had that pizza. That fucking snack. <laughs> and so, even the little snippets of the water and knowing that we was moving, I honestly think motion sickness is like mental. Like your mind can't match the water with the speed of the ship or something. Like I think it's mental. I had to taste the drama mean. Drama mean. Real quick or whatever because I have felt symptoms and then she took some too. She talking about the pills too big. They are. They look like horse pills. But I want some real food. However, I got to be able to walk first. She got these patches too that we finna put on. But the instructions is confusing her. But once this medication start working for motion sickness, I'm back on. Alright y'all, we'll be back. Bye. Hopefully I'm alive. Okay. Bye. Hello guys. I may look totally different because I was in the bed about to take my ass a nice little fucking nap. And guess what, y'all? On my very first cruise, guess what? Guess what? On this Carnival Liberty cruise, y'all wouldn't believe what is going on. So matter of fact, let me start this way. <clears throat> because this is not a joke okay we was in the bed and i had heard water and i was like what is that and we were just kind of like she was like maybe someone's taking a shower next to us right so time went on mm -hmm. we finished the movie she had got up and her feet got wet and she noticed that the floor was wet but in the midst of her 
realizing that her feet were wet, someone was coming to knock on the door to tell us to stay in the room, basically. So, y'all, look. There is water coming from wherever the fuck it's coming from. Mind you, we're on the second floor. So, I wanted to record and tell, show y'all. There's water literally pouring into our room. I'm going to show y'all this hallway. It's really bad. It's, it's, it's coming all the way. In. Did, 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 did they give it? What is coming there, the water? The water is coming all the way from, back. From inside. Oh, it's all the way but back. But not from the not from the ceiling, right? I don't think so. No. I'm not sure. Where no question. Did they give you any proper assistance to, to change cabin? No, they just no, said they just said she wants to later or something. Okay, for the moment you can stay if you are comfortable. We're not. And, uh, and then I uh, know, no. no uh, so um, if it's okay for you, you can ask him for the. Of course, everything will be safe in your room. Uh, going for the to asking some assistance, like, uh, let's say, they change a room or, okay. or whatever. Okay. We have to ask for that, or are they going to come and tell I us? Because I just called, and she told me what they she, tell you? she needed to know how many people were here, but she wasn't. She said you guys are almost at full capacity, and okay. that there, she wasn't sure if there was enough room for everybody. Okay, so uh, so just waiting for the for them to give you some instruction for the different uh, accommodation, yes. Okay, so we're waiting okay. on them. Waiting on them uh, and uh, and check with them uh, sometimes uh, to see if they have any update. So we you. just have to keep calling. Is yes, exactly. Saying. Keep calling to see if they. No, keep calling. Sorry, they are going to contact you. Okay. They they. But anyway, if you if you have this any urgency to, to change accommodation or or to receive bad. immediate attention, please uh, uh, call them. Okay. Okay. We are here in the corridor anyway for anything you need. Uh, call us. Yeah, we are we are in the corridor helping to remove the water. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, uh, this is your captain speaking, Carnival Liberty, and I'm sorry to come back again. I was told that the previous announcement was not properly uh, heard everywhere, so I'm uh, using the general system now uh, to notify everyone that uh, due to a, a gigantic passing shower, I don't know how to call it, it was something not entirely forecasted or foreseen, so it could up with us and cause a strong wind and a heavy battering rain, so cats and dogs there. And we've been doing the best to contain it, all the small leaks that we had around the ship, until one uh, scupper pipe, drain pipe, broke on deck too, and that's when we had a series of loading of uh, water. Now the pipe has been deviated and corrected, but the uh, flood the area are still, of course, heavily wet, and we are using all the vacuum available, and all hands are on deck to correct as quick as possible. I beg for for uh, for uh, um, I give you my apologies, and uh, I will try the best we can to ensure to return the area to service as quick as possible. Thank you very much for your understanding. He was basically saying that there was a pipe. There were some strong winds from like a storm. Caused the pipe to burst. Right? Strong winds. The water's crashing. They got the pipe done. But the water that has came from the pipe being broken in that time frame. Is what's caused our floor. Because we are on the second deck. We're literally on the second deck to do this. Right now we're trying to figure out if we're going to get you know, a room or anything like that. Y'all, I have, she had gave me one of these, what are these stickers called? We, t I took some Dramamine, but she also gave me, um, these patches, um, to help with, you know, being seasick and stuff. So I'm honestly, truly feeling woozy, but then this is happening. I don't really have a moment to, you know, <sighs> So she's very anxious. I'm very anxious. I'm angry. I don't handle things the way she handles things. I'm very much so angry. I could step out that door and, and light it up the way I'm fucking feeling. But luckily that man just came on and said what he said so y'all can hear it yourself because this isn't like someone just ran their shower all day. So, so far, very first cruise experience. This is a dub right now. They need to figure out what they're going to do to accommodate people. I can only imagine how many people are on this floor, though. You know, it's like if you're not prepared for stuff. But they need to be prepared for stuff like this, evidently. 
I feel like after a cruise line does stuff, when you're a cruise line, you should always, if you're going to be max capacity, if something were to happen on two, three floors, if someone were to flood up two, three floors, then what are you going to do? Are you going to turn the boat around and give these people their money back? To me, that's the best thing you should do. I'd rather go back home and give my baby her money back. But no, you're not. You're, you want us to what? Oh, well, it's only on the carpet. So no, I don't want to smell this. I don't want I wouldn't want to smell whatever the fuck it's going to smell like in the morning. Because clearly you just said it's storm water, ocean water, that this is on this carpet. Which means it's not going to fucking smell pleasant. And don't nobody want to smell that. And then on top of that, y'all, when we just spoke to the man, he said that I have to keep calling guest service. Mind you, I had to call guest services to know what's going on. And at the time, the girl didn't even really know what was going on until the man just came on the intercom, which was the first time we heard it. And that's the first time y'all heard it. So then he tells us that we basically have to keep calling to know if we're going to get an accommodation for it, which it shouldn't be if we're going to get an accommodation for it. It should just be we're going to get an accommodation for it, in my opinion. But hey, if they're not organized enough to know that things like this could happen to where you have enough extra rooms to cover people, then what do you do? I really am trying to do the right thing. My girlfriend doesn't like confrontation and I'm, I'm, I'm on confrontation mode. I'm all with the shits right now. Like, my mood is, I'm pissed off, and I feel like I can handle this. <laughs> However, you know, we just ate. We literally was laying down. I was about to doze off, and I'm so thankful she got up because we would have woke up and saw it just like this, and then we would have really thought we was going down. I'm going to get views. You know why? Because I'm going to say we almost, we almost sank. Yeah, okay. They already going to know that that's not the- we almost sank on the Carnival Liberty. Oh, my battery's dying. Gotta change my battery, y'all. She's going to try to call guest services now, but I'll let you guys know what they say because this ain't it. But yeah, y'all, so we have all of our stuff, you know, not touching the ground. My shoes. They give you fucking spring water. They don't even give you purified water. But I need to know if... I'm going to be accommodated and move to another room because I can't be in this room at all with the amount of flooding that's in here. Yeah, and it stinks. Yeah. I know it's going to start to stink. Like, y'all, I'm so livid right now. I am so livid right now. The service here is really blowing me. The Carnival Liberty is blowing me right now. I swear to God. Absolutely terrible. Terrible. And I'm getting pissed off. You know, and I'm not no five star ass bitch or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But every every person's time here is money. You know what I'm saying? It, it really is. And, they, and they, the communication here is terrible. 